Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I have just, well basically I've noticed that I have a lot of thrifted items kind of building up and just from times that I've gone and like haven't been filming or whatever. And so I thought today what I would do is just kind of do like a huge collective thrift haul for you guys. I have some home goods, I have some clothing, I have some accessories, so just a bunch of different stuff that I've kind of found over the past couple weeks and haven't gotten a chance to show you. So I'm gonna show you guys all of that. So that's gonna be today's video. Just a huge collective thrift haul. Okay, I think the dogs have stopped barking. So many distractions today, guys. I can't even like get into, get into the video. So I'm gonna start with the clothing and accessories and then move into the home goods. All of the clothing that I am showing you guys today, I thrifted from Goodwill or a similar thrift store over the past couple weeks. And, oh my gosh. And all the clothing that I thrifted just kind of ended up being this really beautiful palette of neutrals and like creams and browns and stuff like that. So it actually kind of looks really cool because it's kind of all looks like a theme, which I love. So I'm gonna start with the pants that I thrifted. So I thrifted two pairs of pants. The first pair, actually I found both of these at the Goodwill bins. And unfortunately the first pair is a pair of just absolutely stunning Levi's jeans. These are Levi's 551s and I'm obsessed with these. However, they are too large for me, but I thrifted them anyways because I just wanted one of you guys to have them. So I'm, these are actually, by the time you see this video, these will currently be up on my Poshmark but there are these amazing Levi's 551s. They're so pretty. The distressing, like there's very subtle distressing. And then, oh, I just love them. Like this is my dream pair of jeans and they weren't my size. And so I was like, I have to get them anyway so that someone else can have them. The color is perfection. Like I literally love these so much. So these will be up on my Poshmark. Um, so please go and check these out and you could potentially buy them for yourself. So that's the first pair of jeans. And the second pair is a white pair and these do fit me pretty well. These are um, kind of probably like an early 2000s uh, L.L. Bean pair of white jeans. And I've specifically been looking for a pair of white like work pants, chore pants, something with like larger pocketing. However, I couldn't find those, so these were the best I could do. And I still really like these, like these will definitely be high-waisted, they'll fit me really well, and they're essentially what I was looking for minus the pockets that I really wanted. So I'm still gonna be on the lookout for my like dream pair of work, painter, carpenter jeans in white, but this was I thought was like a really good um, kind of compromise. So I'll try these on later for you guys and maybe create a little outfit, but this was the first, or this is the second pair of jeans that I found. Next, I'm going to show you guys a few of the tops that I found. So I actually found this adorable little lamb's wool sweater. It's like a little bit similar and it's almost kind of similar to the one I'm wearing, but I adore this color. So it's a little bit small, but I sometimes kind of like that if I'm gonna wear it tucked into jeans, kind of like how I'm wearing this sweater right now. So I'd really just wear this tucked into jeans and then um, potentially with like a t-shirt underneath because this is, because it is 100% lambs, well, it is a little bit of a scratchier material. This is Vintage Land's End and it's made in the United Kingdom, which I love. And I just adore this kind of creamy marl color that it has and these just really cute little sleeves. I love when the sleeve gets a lot tighter like that at the bottom. So yeah. This is adorable. I saw this like right as we were leaving one of the Goodwills and I like smashed, snatched it. I was like, I have to have that. So that's one of the tops that I found. So this is actually a little cashmere sweater and it is in this really pretty olive green color. So once again, this is a very small kind of sweater. It's not gonna be oversized at all. It's gonna fit tight to my body and I would definitely wear it like tucked into jeans or something. But this is actually a cardigan. I'm calling it a sweater. I mean, it's a sweater, but it's like more specifically a cardigan. You can see it has these little um, kind of like mother of pearl type buttons that go all the way up. And this color is so amazing. I literally don't have anything in this color. I found this at the bins. So it was probably like 50 cents, less than that probably. Next, I have a couple of jackets for you guys. So the first one is this really amazing blazer and I have had this for probably like 
a week or two now and I kept trying to like think like I was like have I shown this to them yet and I couldn't remember so I'm I don't think I have but I couldn't remember for sure so I'm just gonna show it to you guys anyways um but it is this amazing like plaid but it's not plaid and it's not it's like a hound's tooth plaid like look at that see it's tiny little Helen's tooth print, but it's in this like checkered pattern and it is a mustardy color and then a dark blue and a light blue on a white background. And then the lining is this amazing mustard lining. I literally love this blazer so much. Like I'm obsessed with it. It's so cool. The colors are amazing. The sizing is perfect. The lining is so cool. And when I find blazers that have a really cool lining like that i love to roll up the sleeves to some degree so that you can like see the lining poking out because like how cool is that color you want that to be showing so i'll try this on for you guys later this was also i think probably like 450 from the men's section at goodwill i have two i have three more pairs of kind of like outerwear to show you guys so this is really funny this is from the goodwill bins and um if you guys think you know what this is you can say it in the comments but I, or I'll tell you right now what it is, but if you had had a different guess, let me know. But this is actually the lining of a trench coat, obviously without the trench coat part. Um, but I just thought it could be so cool as like a vest situation. So like imagine even with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, like literally just wearing this kind of over your outfit as like a long vest it sadly it doesn't have like any pockets or anything but it does zip up not that i would i would probably just wear it open like this over an outfit pretty similar to this so it's this like cool furry <laughs> texture and then the this side is obviously like a polyester um but then it has the big tag right here which I actually kind of enjoy, I like the fact that you can see the tag like that. And I know there's gonna be people that are like, if I'm wearing this out, there are going to be people that are like, your jacket's on inside out, I can see your tag. It's like, okay, I knew that, like I, I'm, I knew that. So I would wear it anyways, and I would wear it with a tag out because that's how I like to wear it. Um, and it's very clearly vintage, it's from vintage trench coat. Don't know what happened to the trench coat, but glad that I found this i'll show it to you guys full length later on and then second to last jacket that i found i actually picked this up so i feel like when you first look at this piece you would not like think it was anything special however there is a brand more specifically there's an influencer that i really like her name is matilda jerf i think i've talked to you guys about her before she's like huge inspiration for me style wise but she has a brand called jerf avenue and she recently came out with a set it's like this little tan camel colored not a bomber jacket not a utility jacket kind of like lightweight cropped jacket and then a pant almost like a trouser work pant type of situation so i found this jacket and i was just like this really really reminded me of the jacket that she just had come out in her collection. It's just a very simple, plain little tan cropped jacket. I'll go ahead and throw it on. But I just really like the look of it. It's very lightweight, so it's perfect for spring, which I like. Um, and I don't know, it's just really cute. And I love the idea of it's so lightweight that you could definitely it's so lightweight that I could definitely kind of like zip it up and wear it cropped. I don't know. I feel like this is cute. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a cute jacket? I really like it. And I like the color a lot. I like that it's a gold zipper. Um, and I feel like it just really reminds me of her collection. Last but not least for clothes, I found the most epic coat ever. It is a 100% real vintage suede and shearling coat and i actually did something really interesting with this so i found this coat at goodwill and it was like the suede was on the outside the shearling was on the inside which is cute but i've really been loving and seeing a lot of like the shearling on the outside the full shearling coats 
that almost look like they're inside out. Like they have kind of the um, stitching on the outside. And I was like, what would happen if I turned this coat inside out and tried to wear it inside out? And I actually kind of love it that way. So this is what the coat looks like. I mean, it's an epic coat, whichever way you wear it. But um, obviously this is the part that's supposed to be on the exterior. However, I switched it around so that the shoe link was on the exterior. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it on for you guys. It's so cool. It's like sadly almost getting too warm here now for me to wear this, but I'll definitely be wearing it next winter. Okay, what do you guys think? So I'm trying to put my hands in the pockets and that's the sad part is that I can't put my hands in the pockets because the pockets are like reversed. But um, what do you guys think? I mean, I think it's really cool. I'm debating whether or not to take off this little tag right here. Like if it gives it away too much that it's an inside out coat because I feel like besides that, it really doesn't look like that inside out like it looks pretty normal it looks you know like it definitely could have been made this way and that stitch across the back right here this part you see that in coats all the time so anyways i feel like it could definitely be worn this way let me know what you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and take you over the mirror and show you a few of these pictures or a few of these outfits full length and then we'll go to the home goods okay guys so this is that shearling coat. <laughs> I'm just wearing my slippers. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it works like this? Like inside out? Or is it too obvious? Does it not work? Do you not like it at all? I really, really like it. And I just feel like this is in such great condition. You rarely find shearling that's in such good condition at the thrift store that I just really want to wear it this way so that I can kind of, you know, might as well use it to its advantage. And it's so pretty that I hate to not have this part showing. So let me know what you guys think about that. Okay, here is the vest. So this is the liner jacket, like literal lining from a jacket that I found and I'm just kind of wearing as a vest. It's actually a really cool, almost like a green khaki color. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think it works as a vest i think it's cool i like it i would definitely wear it i think it's really neat and i don't really have anything like this i don't have anything that is a vest like this and especially not this length i love how long it is so let me know what you guys think down below okay now for this amazing blazer guys i you already know like i love this blazer so much i don't know what it is about a blazer but they make me feel so good like, I literally am obsessed with this. I haven't rolled up this sleeve yet um, because I can't quite decide if I like it fully because the sleeves honestly aren't that long. Like, they really aren't too long on me. I've got really long arms. But, um, like, it's almost too short when I have it rolled up like that. But I absolutely adore this blazer. The color is amazing. I could literally just wear it like this with some sneakers and grab a bag, and it would be such a cute outfit. So I am a huge, huge, huge fan of blazers especially this color. I do not have anything like this, so I love it. I almost forgot before we move into home goods, I have two accessories to show you. The two little accessories I found are a bag and a hat. So the bag is this adorable vintage leather, little tiny kind of handbag. It's very small. And I typically prefer, prefer something that has like a cross body strap, but I just thought this was too cute to pass up. I just found this at the bins. So it was literally probably like 20 cents and I could not pass it up. So this little guy is the bag. And then the other accessory that I found, I found this at Goodwill, it was like a dollar because I think that's what their hats cost. Um, and it is this really cool Western, um, you know what? I don't even think I know what this hat is called because I know that it's not a cowboy hat, obviously. It's just like a Western hat, but I don't, I, there's got to be a more specific name for this. And I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments because I really am not sure, but um, it's a super cool hat. I am like typically not a hat 
this type of hat wear. Like, I feel like I'm not brave enough for that, but I would like to be. So I don't know if you guys think that I should try this out, let me know. And I might try and style it up somehow for you guys. But this was the other accessory. Okay, now we are moving into the home goods. So the first thing that I wanna show you, it's actually two little things, they're identical. These two matching little trays, and you could use these as soap dishes, a trinket dish, really whatever you wanna use. But I just loved how the porcelain or whatever this material is, is kind of cracked like that. And then it has this very thin blue line. They just look really handmade. And I actually don't know if these are antique or not, but they look antique, so I liked that. I think these were like $3 and they came together in a set and then these were from Mega Thrift, which is one of our local thrift stores. So I will probably use these as a soap dish or you could like put, like put it on your desk and put like pins on it or something. I don't know, I'm trying to think of how I would use it, but I really, really like these. Um, and then the next thing, this is probably my favorite thing. Well, that's hard because I actually have another thing I really like too, but um, this amazing vintage print, it's of lemon and I actually don't know what this little thing right here is. It looks like a salt shaker or something, but that doesn't seem right. But this, it's a, and it's not a print. It's like literally, this is a hand-drawn um, picture and it's been signed right there, which I absolutely adore. You guys know how much I like it when it's an original artwork. Um, and then it has this adorable little wooden frame. It's really old. It's actually kind of falling apart in the back and it has tape on it. Um, and it has the original sticker right here, but I can't read it. Um, but I love it so much and I think this will probably end up going in my kitchen but this was three dollars from the Habitat for Humanity Restore that we have locally so love this little guy. Okay this is kind of a fun one. Next I have this really large chunky throw. It is this amazing Angora blanket with this really cool like shaggy tassels and um, it's like super fuzzy, super kind of like hairy. You can see all the texture and stuff. So that's what me, makes me think it's Angora. It doesn't have any type of tags on it because I'm pretty sure that it's old. And so um, I found this at Goodwill just hanging up and I think it was like four or $5. I think that's how much blankets are. So I love this. I already have it um, in my living room over a chair. And I just love the texture and the warmth that it kind of brings and how cozy it looks. So that was a really fun find. Okay, next are these three, well, I'm only gonna show you two of them or one of them, but I found three of these stunning antique terracotta pots, but they're shaped more like an urn. Like how amazing is this? I literally saw these and I was like, running so quickly to grab them and stick them in my cart. These are from Goodwill and they were $3 each, which like, I think $3 for a terracotta pot, a small terracotta pot in general is like expensive because you can get them at Lowe's for a dollar. But because they're this specific shape and because they already have such a great like patina on them, um, so you can tell they're definitely really old, I just didn't care, I wanted them so badly. So I got three of them. Here's another one that I got. Um, this one has a little bit more like just dressing on it. I just love that. And so this one's actually labeled $4, but the other two were labeled $3. So I don't know how much I ended up paying for all of these, but love this. Another thing that I've been collecting recently are tons and tons and tons of vintage books. And I have found so many good ones lately. I am obsessed with this one specifically because of this amazing, um, monogram here on the front. I just love the way that that looks. This book is called Bright Arrows, which I just think is really, I don't know, I just love the name of it. I love, it's just old kind of, I'm assuming that it's a romance novel by Grace Livingston Hill, Bright Arrows. I just love that. And then here, I brought two other ones to show you just kind of like, um, the type that I got. This is actually the same author, Grace Livingston Hill. I just adore that her monogram was on the front. And this one is called um, All Through the Night. And I would really love to know, like look at that. 
And then this other one that I found is actually just called A Field Guide to Birds. It's a quite like a thick, heavy little book. Um, and I love that it has like a ruler on the back, which is really cute. And I'm sure you guys know this type of book. It has those like waxy pages and then they have all the little pictures in them. Um, and this one's really sweet. I just love the way that it looked and I love all the pictures in it. And I loved how old it was. I think this is probably in from like the seventies or something. So I thought this was a really cute one. But the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try and finish up quickly before this truck starts making a crazy noise again, is this amazing ironstone bowl. So this definitely originally went with like a pitcher that matched it, but I didn't find that. I just found the bowl. So it is hand painted beautiful creamy white ironstone with these stunning hand-painted fruits there has been a debate on my instagram as to what these fruits are and i kind of feel like a dummy because i originally was like what are they like are they apples and then a couple people were like they're cherries duh and i'm like oh my gosh of course they're cherries like how could i have not noticed that but I'm pretty sure that these are cherries. If you have a different thought, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that these are cherries. I love this bowl so much. Um, I'm definitely going to be, it has a pretty little stamp on the bottom. And I love using these really for anything. Um, you can use it as a salad bowl. You can use it as just decor. You can make it more functional and use it to put fruit in on your counter. Like lots of different things that you can use this for or a type of bowl like this. I think sometimes when we see things like this at the thrift store, we get intimidated by them because of their size or because they seem too fancy. And what would I use this for? Like you can buy things like this and use them just for a fruit bowl or use it for really whatever. Um, just don't feel too constrained by, you know, oh, it's so pretty, I don't know how to use it. Um, because it should be used and it definitely was originally just like a wash stand. So this was the last item that I wanted to show you guys. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.